Hi guys, I'm going to talk to you today about concussion in football. Footballers who sustain a suspected concussion, either during training or in a game, should immediately be removed from the pitch and not allowed to continue till the appropriate treatment has been administered. A concussion is an injury to the brain, with loss of consciousness not always occurring in the majority of cases. A progressive exercise programme that introduces an individual back to sport in a stepwise fashion is recommended after a concussion. Signs and symptoms of a concussion on a football pitch would include a player having immediate headaches, neck pain, nausea, dizziness, blurred vision, double vision, or balance issues, or sensitivity to light, or described being in a fog, lack of concentration, drowsiness, or a change in behaviour, either emotional or aggressive. The player is removed from the pitch and a series of tests are, conf are confirmed. A concentration test, which we will show you, a memory test, which we will also show you, and some balance exercises, which we will show you, which is called the SCAT-5. So we've taken the player off the football pitch and we've brought him into the change rooms. We can do some balance assessments. The first one is a modified balance assessment where you, the patient puts his hands on his hips and closes his eyes. We do that for 20 seconds. What we might be looking for is if the patient opens his eyes, we score that as one. If he takes his hands off the hips, we score that as two. If they come up on their heels, we score that as three. Or if they throw the leg out into 30 degrees of abduction, we score that as four. So these are the scoring systems we use. So the, second, uh, so the second form of balance we do is get the patient to stand on one leg, on the non-dominant leg. Put your hands on your hips, Matthew, and close your eyes. Again, we're looking for the heel. If it lifts, we score as, as a one. Or if there's any jerking movement, so that would be a score there, so keep, keep going. If their leg flirts out to the side, and we're looking at errors over 20 seconds. So we've got one error so far, maybe two. Okay. So we're going to show you another balance. It's called a tandem stance. So what I want you to do, Matthew, is your non-dominant leg is behind, your hands on your hips, and you're going to close your eyes. Again, we're looking at 20 seconds of time. We're looking for any errors. Maybe, exact, for example, open the eyes, lifting the foot off, reaching out with the leg, and they get progressively harder. Uh, another test is heel to toe test. Uh, normally we do it over three meters. The patient would walk three meters and walk back with their eyes closed. And we're looking at the heel to toe movement. If the patient reaches out, if the leg goes out, these are what we call uh, scores. And we, we score the patient for this. Okay, and that gives us an idea of uh, concussion protocols. So when you're ready, so close your eyes, one foot in front of the other. And we do that for three meters and then stop. And then turn around, keeping your eyes closed. And again, heel to toe when you're ready. Eyes closed. So there's no errors being scored here, but this is what we'd look for. Leg coming out, off balance, open your eyes. That's fine. Another thing we find with concussion is that patients actually lose their coordination of their upper limbs because of the brain injury. So what we do is get the patient to touch their nose and now touch my finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger. Any off shooting, any completely missing of the finger, then we know there's an issue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is test your immediate memory, Matthew. So this is what we'd use for concussion protocol. I'm gonna read out a list of objects and we to try and remember them for me. Is that okay? So finger, penny, blanket, lemon, insect. So when you're ready, just read them back any however you want. Insect, lemon, penny, blanket, finger. Okay, good. Candle, paper, Sugar, sandwich, wagon. Wagon, sugar, sandwich, candle, paper. Good. And well done. Last one. Baby, monkey, perfume, sunset, and iron. Iron, sunset, baby, perfume, monkey. Okay, excellent. Well done. Hi Matthew, so what I'm going to do now is test your concentration levels. So I'm going to say a list of numbers and I want you to read them back in reverse order. Is that okay with you? Yep. So, here we go. 9, 1, 7. 7, 1, 9. 15, 36, 
94. 94, 36, 15. Okay, 2, 29, 59, 3. 3, 59, 29, 2. Okay, thank you. So often with a, an athlete who's had concussion, a footballer, the, you tend to find their awareness in space of their head is a compromise. So they often maybe have dizzy spells or they're sensitive to light. So this is the latest way of actually assessing how how good their awareness of their head is in space and often you find there's a few uh, problems. So what we've done here is measured 90 centimeters from the chart and what we're going to do is get the patient to center with the red laser pen in the middle, the cross, and then we're going to get him to close his eyes. I'm going to disorientate his head and put him back into the middle and what I'm going to do is look at how his head moves in space. So we're going to turn your head, Matthew, as far as you can to the left with your eyes closed and then bring it back to where you think is central. So you can see there's a big discrepancy is way off on this side. So some exercise we get him to do is just follow the black cross and just want you to follow without jumping up and down. So nice and steady, nice and slowly follow that. So we're getting him to train these proprioceptive muscles of the back of the neck. Then we're going to look at the right. So again, Close your eyes, Matthew. He's in the centre. I'm going to disorientate him and relax your head so he doesn't know where he's going. And this time, if you go to the right, Matthew, as far as you can, and then bring it back to where you think centre is, keeping your eyes closed. All the way back to the middle, where you think middle is. So you can see he's landed in green. You can open your eyes now, Matthew. So he's, in the, he's slightly off on this side. What we can do, say for example, if he's um, weaker on the left and the right in left rotation, we can train the brain and the muscles of the neck to obviously improve, what we could get him to do is just follow inside the blue sign, nice and slowly, Matthew, to train his neck muscles, slow as you can, to improve. And this is sort of rehab we'd do. So we've assessed him, and then we do some rehab. What we then progress to do is get him to stand on one leg, and of again, again, following the blue infinity sign, and we can make it progressively more difficult. We could ask him to follow the blue infinity sign, and improve his coordination, uh, concentration. So could you recite the months backwards, Matthew, as you follow the blue infinity sign on the left? December, November, October, September, August, July, June. Okay, that's cool. Great, thank you. So finally, for concussion, the advice is as follows. Avoid alcohol as an athlete. You need to avoid prescription drugs. Avoid taking sleeping tablets. Do not use aspirin or non-steroid anti-inflammatories. Do, uh, do not drive until cleared by your GP and do not return to sports unless cleared by your health professionals in your football club.